Hello ninth graders, this is Miss Natalie, your English teacher. I hope you're doing well, safe and sound. In this tutorial, I will discuss the material included for week number five. So let's start with the first day of this week. Now in, on this day, we are going to continue working on writing an argumentative essay. You are going to be writing, continuing writing inside the class and it will be set for you as a homework too if you do not finish. Um, so this class focuses on um, continuing con the continuous writing of the body paragraphs, paragraph two and paragraph three, okay? I will be rotating as usual, checking your progress, giving you comments, so you can modify briefly, of course as by the end uh, of the argumentative essay lessons uh, you will be sending me your um, final draft and uh, via email i'll be editing it providing you with comments and highlights for you to modify so make sure that you're on track as for the second day um, you are going to start writing your, um, your counterclaims, making it the fourth paragraph of the essay. Yeah. Um, on this page, you are going to find, let me show you here. Um, you are going to find, just like what we set or explained through uh, from the PPT, how to write a counterclaim. Um, so please abide by the rules, okay? By the guided, I would say, um, slides. Um, tap here, reputation. Okay. Now, as for the last paragraph, which is the conclusion or the wrap up, um, so you are going to also work in class. We are going to explain um, through the PPT what is a conclusion and what to include in it and so on. And you are going to start writing it. Um, after you write your conclusions, you are going to um, share your points or share, I would say, um, parts of your essay with your peers, with, with your peers, right, in pairs. Okay. Um, as for the fourth day of this week, you are going to sit for quiz number one, literature, media, radio, broadcast. I sent you an email explaining to you that you have an, a quiz on this day, uh, what material you need to focus on, what resources you need to go back to and go through. Um, we are go after the quiz, because it's going to take us 12 to 15 minutes, um, we are going to continue with our class. Um, we are going to introduce the meaning of poetry, uh, its structure, and essential figurative language or poetic devices. On this um, on this BC page, you have aiding tutorials to explain the meaning of poetry, um, and another tutorial explaining uh, the multiple uses of poetic devices. Uh, and here, um, in the further practice, you have articles that will help you explain each poetic device and some practice questions that you need to answer. Now, on the last day of this week, we are going to start with our first poem in this unit called The Writer. We are going to cover the poet's biography, the background story, and we are going to work in an activity uh, titled Photo Analysis. We are going to analyze the uh, picture aligned with the poem that we are going to analyze together in later lessons. This is the activity regarding photo analysis. We have specific questions that you need to answer. I will be giving you time. You're going to work individually and reflect, reflect your own perspectives regarding the photo. As for the first um, activity, it will be based on the poet biogra poet's biography and the background story. 
you need to read um, the information stated about both through Sabas, and you need to do further research in class regarding both um, topics and then we are going to um, discuss your points that you stated or you wrote uh, in your notebooks. Of course, you have on this, um, you, you also have tutorials that will help you understand or to aid your answers. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.